Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly Jenkins Infrastructure Team Meeting. Uh, today we are four on the table, myself, Damien Duportal, Hervé Lemeur, Mark White, and Bruno Verhart. Uh, announcements before the weekly, I just want to thank you, the person who sent the goodies to the person who tried to go at Orlando. I received my t-shirt, my Jenkins t-shirt. Me too. <laughs> With the astronaut on the back. <laughs> So thanks everyone involved on that. I received one also and uh, a sweet and a battery. Yes, the battery is high quality. That's really cool. Okay, uh, weekly two thousand uh, two dot three nine two. So uh, the packages bits are ready on Jenkins.io. But the Docker container image is failing due to um, an error. Uh, let me check because I just opened the, the, the error. Right. Yeah, Jenkins co release that's the issue 3400. Um, let me add the reference. Tracked in. So I will explain that, uh, but we have an issue tracking the error and that should be fixed uh, later today, but expect uh, a delay uh, one or two hours before the general availability of the Docker image. Time for us to fix the infrastructure associated error. Uh, but outside this, no more errors. So everything is ready. Is there anything else you want to check on? You want to add on that re weekly release? No, all of all of the things that I've checked on the release checklist so far, I had not checked the container, but the mirrors are okay. The RPM, the DEB, and the MSI all verified is okay. So it looks like the Docker container is is the only sticking point thus far, and the change log is published. Okay, cool. Uh, is it signed with the new or the old uh, certificate? New certificate hasn't been received yet, so it has to have okay. been signed with the old one. And okay. it, it didn't complain at me on the MSI, so it is signed. Cool. Other announcement? Um, I won't be on the office next Tuesday, so I will need someone else to run the weekly meeting. Stephen? Is there a volunteer here? <laughs> That's low. <laughs> I I will be available. I'm happy to run it so long as the running involves other people doing most of the work. Yeah, sure. No problem. Cool. Um, I will be available Tuesday morning. Uh, I've canceled my travel to Lyon, but I will be. Uh, I will try to do it remotely because I will have to stay at home. But uh, I'm only uh, unavailable the Tuesday afternoon. So in the morning, I will triple check with uh, with uh, Stefan and Hervé, uh, so we can. They, you won't have uh, too much things to do. Um, Mark drives the weekly meeting. Thanks a lot, and thanks for driving. Uh, last week hmm. Stefan will prepare button sync with Damien something else to add no other announcements okay um, upcoming calendar Next weekly, 2.393, next week of February. Uh, I don't remember when is the next LTS plan, but I assume so it's 2.387.1, okay. 8th of March, 2023. 8th of March, hmm. okay. We'll discuss that uh, offline then. Uh, next security release, we had one last week as far as I... Yes. 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 Yes, we did. It was a plugin advisory last week. 
Um, and no more announced. Correct. Login advisory last week of February. Advisory, okay. Um, I need help. Everything went fine. Is that correct? Because it was a day I wasn't ready. Yes, as as far as I could tell, quite smoothly. The the release process was completed faster than expected. The downtime for ci.jenkins.io, if I recall correctly, was less than expect. I usually expected. So um, things seemed to go quite well. Uh, the <laughs> The integration of the changes into the bill of materials took a little longer, but that's because the bill of materials job is a big job. And <laughs> if it ever has any problem, it takes a long time. Thanks. Next major events. So I saw notification about, is it is that scale in Los Angeles soon? Scale X, I think. Yes, is. scale. Yeah. Oh. They, they just call it scale. So. Southern California Linux Expo, or maybe they do X, add the X, I don't, yeah, scale. I'll have to look. Yeah, their oh. site, they call it scale. Okay. Uh, when is it? When does it take? It March the 10th, 11th, and 12th. 10, 11, 10 through 12 March. And it's actually, are, yeah. yeah. Sorry? Go ahead. No, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. And we will have DevOps in Paris also on the upcoming events. Do we have um, other events? Uh, CDCon is coming in May to uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Nice. In May. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So if you want to meet people, to meet part of the team, the community team and maintainer that are behind Jenkins, please meet us in one of these conferences. Other calendar events? Nope. Okay. So let's proceed to the walk down and walk in progress. Um, thanks to the team who, who took the wheel while I was out in an unexpected notice. Um, a lot of work was done, so I'm quite happy with the outcome. Meaning it's not a one person team, it's a world team. We can share pizzas. <laughs> um, Maven 3.9.0 has been generally deployed to CI Jenkins IO earlier today. We worked a bit on that uh, element. So an email has been sent. So thanks, Stefan, uh, for the heavy lifting there. Um, internal, been... sorry? Yeah, I would have not uh, just said that there have been a discussion opened by James Nord about uh, Maven. And plugin on uh, Jenkins uh, CI dev list. Uh, yeah, Mailing you list. mentioned it, but so th that it's, is it's that the CM fry, yeah, it's uh, just to mention it. Okay, so I, uh, it, yeah. James James's question is a good developer question, and it's getting good discussion as a developer question. Our process of deploying the current version of Maven promptly is unchanged. He's not suggesting and no one's suggesting we should slow down our pace of, of adopting new versions of, of Maven. Which is still related to the infra, but it's a positive feedback for me. Right. It's the fact that, it, uh, correct me if I, if I understood wrongly, but the email from uh, James is about uh, a time after the infra deployed the new Maven version, the time before that version start to be a base requirement for most of the plugin, which mean the infra team is leading the updates of the tools we use to build Jenkins and associated tools. Right. That's a good thing, but that means we will have to improve and our maturity yeah. on providing end of life and re release life cycle. So that's... Have... At... Sorry? Yeah. I yeah. might have not 
really quite understood uh, Olivier Lamy response to this thread, but I, as far as I understand, this Maven uh, version we have on Infra doesn't really matter because it's not the one uh, taken in account uh, for the plugin. It's one from the BOM or the POM, as far as I understood. Uh, I haven't seen that. I may have, I may have to read again uh, his response, but yeah, I don't think uh, it's matter. Okay, but thanks for mentioning that. That means that there are discussion uh, prompted by the fact that if we are um, able to provide much more frequent update of the main tools, such as Java and Maven, we can can stay ahead and help developer to be in advance. So that's really a good thing. Uh, that's all for me on the Maven topic. Do you have some other elements? Uh, and show all GitHub action version are pinned and tracked. Fra thanks, survey for the heavy lifting there. Um, it was an exhaustive listing and check that we have dependabots automatically updating any GitHub action version that we have everywhere on all of the Jenkins infra repositories. There were a I, bunch of reasons why it's not it wasn't working right, but maybe yeah. nothing. And I just checked uh, with a grep on all Jenkins infra repository and every use of action have. Uh, version so we are good there too nice job so now that part is fully delegated to depend about which work in concert with the github actions so that will avoid us uh, being cooked by surprise on any depreciation such as node.js 12 was deprecated a few months ago on github action and node.js 16 was required and that one could have broken elements so that's one of the numerous examples why we have we need pinned version to be sure we have a coherent behavior which stays the same across time and we update all the time. And since GitHub action is really easy to use with Dependabot, that's why we don't use update CLI or another tool for that. It's easier with Dependabot for us. Uh, can no longer test PCT incremental in Jenkins BOM. So that one was a tricky one related to the ACP, which is our top priority still today. Um, I read you want to explain, do you want me to, to explain? Uh, the issue? Yes, so uh, uh, as Basil noticed, uh, there was, um, Maven couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, determine uh, the correct uh, repository to use. It was trying to use the public one for retrieving the PCT incrementals. And this is due to the fact we are using uh, Nastax uh, in the mirror off section of the settings to be able to mirror every rep Maven repository. But adding this uh, Asterix uh, made Maven uh, confused about uh, the repository to use. And uh, with the help and, uh, of Tania and uh, Adrien, uh, we found out that adding uh, the new Maven layout for specifying uh, the default repository helps uh, Maven to know which repo to use. So that, that was a huge teamwork on numerous level because it was tricky and the edge case. It was scoped to only the dependency get goal of Maven with the remote repositories flag set up to a list of repository, which goal is to int Maven, which repository to use to check for the required dependency. That's slightly different than the usual Maven clean build package verify test commands, where the full dependency tree is automatically determined from the pawn parents with the usual thing. That's what we have on most of the repository. But here, Maven is not able to automatically detect which repository us to dependency. The new layout, uh, we had an issue like this one that uh, with the releases, with the Maven release plugin 3.0. So there might be some other components of Maven that has the same issue 
where at the moment on time, the old layout is marked as deprecated. And the side effect in that specific case was every time the first one was always used always the default while we were hinting at the incremental. By switching to this one, then everything is going well. So no need to change the existing setup and the work that Hervé did on the ACP and the associated setup is still working very well. That was a tricky one. Um, what did we have? Frequent page duty alert disk space. So that one is fixed. Uh, the Windows Docker image build for Jenkins and Jenkins agent were using way more disk space than what we provided. So after searching and checking the build logs, we were able to find build failures. And by increasing the size at 150 gigabytes, we were able to have this build passing. Uh, that's main, I assume it's because we had more dependencies and we build all the Windows on the same machine. If we split on different machine, we won't need more, but the additional cost is almost nothing between 130 and 150 gigabytes, it's nothing. That was also an opportunity to use premium SSDs for this machine since we know that the Windows virtual machines are pretty high bound, especially for tests on Jenkins Core and other ATH stuff. So that's why using premium SSDs is clearly a uh, a service to the developer. Again, we can afford that additional cost because we were able to uh, to decrease the Azure bill since the past months. So I expect three or 400 uh, additional dollars per month, but we were able to decrease uh, 2.5K, so that's, that's okay. Oh, by so, the way, just, yeah, sorry. We received a notice about uh, Microsoft or an increase of four. Um, yes, uh, we will have to look at this closely. I saw, yeah, sorry. Uh, thanks for the reminder. Just thinking about that. Uh, sure. Yep. We will have to check uh, if the notice is uh, about that change or another one. That's a good point, Terry. Thanks. Though, as one of those who suffers from the slow performance of, of automated tests on Jenkins core on Windows, I would love to have more ways to have Windows get faster for us. <laughs> so it, here it's only virtual machine agents. Uh, the next step will be to focus on the Windows container, which is still a, a tricky part. Uh, anything else on that topic? Okay, container image or weekly not published last week. So this was an issue mainly related to the shell script used on the official Jenkins CI slash uh, Docker uh, repository. Uh, thing, it was fixed. The maintainer of that repository uh, were able to work on that and fix it. It was mentioned on the infrastructure. So we had uh, an audit log on, and we will have an historic trace of what was done. Uh, nothing expected more from the infra team because we were able to quickly check if it wasn't related to the infrastructure itself, but to the publication script. To GitHub permission repository to archive. So thanks a lot, Alex. And null pointer exception and stable CI job. Okay. It I, was, uh, uh, yeah, it was, you, it was a temporary error. It was a, the test I was doing on the ah, okay, so false alert. So, that effect, sorry, yeah, good news then. <laughs> Thanks, Harvey. Well, uh, it says that my RSS monitoring of of uh, job failures of certain precious jobs is working. For yep. Eve was the innocent victim of my job monitoring, but I didn't thought uh, it would be noticed. But yeah, it works. <laughs> So say differently, Mark is tracking Hervé's activity log. Yeah, I see, I see. Mark no, is definitely okay. tracking jo certain jobs on ci.jenkins.io. That is absolutely true. <laughs> Makes sense. I think that's all on the closed and finished job. Or did I miss anything else that wasn't in the automatic issue? Uh, there, was a, there was an issue related to 
container image getting the wrong image was that already hidden in one of the others or is it later uh the irm oh yes the weekly uh, the lts instead of the weekly right right yeah good so Hervé remembers that i didn't look to see that did it yeah. may not have had a help disk ticket at all but it's the two uh i don't think i i don't think we have an afra issue for that okay no problem it's resolved it's not, and so it's not it's yeah, okay. not a concern in, for me yeah it wasn't infra related okay remember it was oh. also uh jenkins ci docker uh, but right thank you right it wasn't there was no help desk ticket thank you absolutely uh, yeah um bruno you you think that's uh in a yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't work for me yet but i guess this will be solved when we'll have the new weekly release uh, later today exactly exactly we need to finish today's weekly so we need to fix the infra issue that it's uh, holding today's weekly and then that will be fixed mm -hmm. okay thank you and, and uh, that's because because it was working for me but i'm using an intel architecture bruno you're using an arm architecture is that what the difference is no 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 it's if you use the tag weekly or latest oh oh got it because okay. as you can see the shell script the shell code script here is only getting the last line from the output of get latest version but mark you and i change the behavior of that methods and we forgot about checking that line mm -hmm. so now uh, the code on the main branch is removing the lts version and only keep the weekly version and then get the latest line which is still fragile code but that should be okay for that fix and now we need to republish a new weekly to be sure that the the latest tag are okay thank but, you okay but That's good point it's not infra related but we will have to finish the job uh, today yeah but i have a friend who always tells me friends don't let friends use latest but anyhow, absolutely it's another subject <laughs> and, but that's a good point. We weren't affected on the in Jenkins infrastructure because we pin the version and the version mm -hmm. are always published. Otherwise, trust me, we will suffer from that and we will fix see the issue and fix it faster than the usual users. Yeah. Okay, now work in progress. So two new issues. First one, it's so that one might create mayhem on trusted ci uh, since two weeks uh, the puppet agent is telling us the, it's failing to run on trusted ci jenkins io virtual machine the issues uh, is related to third bot and it looks like the third bot version between the plugin we use for dns challenge on azure and the third bot we install is uh, failing to integrate. There is a weird issue that might be fixed, uh, but right now it's failing. So we cannot renew automatically the certificate on trusted CI. The same issue might or might not appear on third CI as well. It's only these two machines that have the problem. So it's not blocking, but you might see on trusted or third CI issues related to the certificate. If it's the case, there is no problem to accept temporary the self the state the self sign certificate major issue the one which is holding us from today's weekly it looks like that since we bump the agents templates to the latest docker 23 on ubuntu 2004 that now the buildx plugin is not installed anymore by default in our setup so i'm not sure if it's uh, if it's because it used to be a package dependency of docker ce if it was part of the package is it a new package is there it's not mentioned on the change log so i'm i was just before checking that part with the local image comparing and that has been introduced five days ago every builds on both ci jenkins are you untrusted that are using docker buildix and eventually our own build on infra ci will fail as soon as they start using docker buildix command most of the time it's for only the multi-architecture builds on linux but you might see that error so 
work in progress. And once that one is okay and we have released something, then we can uh, deploy and rebuild the image. That should be end of day. We have a new issue, all the mail provider deleted, unless you have a question on the previous topic. So someone lost their password, but they are asking an email uh, change. We should check that Thales services and talesgroup.com are two valid DNS from Thales. That looks good, but we should check the MX. Uh, I'm not sure how could we handle that uh, in a more careful way, maybe asking the user to create a new account. Because I'm worried about uh, risk of account takeover. Maybe it's me being too par paranoid. Yeah, this is to the main name. It's, uh, I, yeah, it seems really legit to me. Uh, sending an email to the new one to ask if it's correct. I don't know, but yeah. Or maybe uh, uh, try to mm -hmm. contact Thales Group to ask if they change uh, their domain name, but yeah. Checking the MX record and who are owning which of these two DNS should be a first yep. step, a required step, because that looks like, but account takeover are about the difference between looking like and being like. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's yeah, the sure. subtle thing. Um, otherwise, as soon as we are sure enough that the person is the person who they claim to be, then we can go ahead. Um, worth checking if that person maintains a plugin because that's not the same if it's a personal account or a plugin maintainer. That's not the same level of danger. And checking the history of Shira as well. I don't mind taking it, but yeah, uh, just a note of uh, a, not, a note of warning. Yes, just uh, to confirm, mm -hmm. it's, it was not a lot, but uh, on LinkedIn, this person is a uh, head of project engineer with uh, less than 300 uh, relation. I don't think it's a new account, so, yeah. I, that's literally yeah, the kind yeah, of yeah. account I will use for taking over someone else's yes, account, so <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Not much experience, yeah, okay. The goal is not to, to yeah, make that person happy or not happy because they have a lot of relation. The goal is to avoid yeah. an account takeover. The rest is only uh, mm. impression. And that's most of, that's how social engineering work, right? Uh, it's just a word of caution. If mm -hmm. that person does not manage any plugin, then the risk is clearly lower, but still there is a risk. Uh, Maven 17 label logging on CI Jenkins. Um, so there's been a lot of discussion, but what we saw from the metrics is that uh, the each time we have a new LTS release, the, bomb, the amount of bomb builds are clearly big enough to be to request more resources than we can provide. As we discussed, uh, some of us, the goal is now First, to increase the amount of builds that can be taken over in DigitalOcean, which will increase the, you see this plateau here of around 150, 160 available and used executor immediately, the red curve, while the gray curve is the amount of requested uh, executors. So if we can increase the amount of builds, we will have to check the DigitalOcean credits, of course, but that should help especially the 8th March with the new LTS, we will have again a bunch of bomb builds. So we'll see if it works better. Um, another thing will be trying to split the workloads between bomb builds and plugins or other things to avoid annoying plugins while a build is running. That one would not make the, the agent come faster but that will be sure that we'll have a pool of agent for one and another pool. We physically separate the two workloads and that should avoid annoying plugin developer when they need a build. That's more convenience for our user than really a performance or capability increase. These are the action we can do right now. For the rest, we need to find way more Kubernetes capability. 
ask other providers such as Kivo Cloud, OVH, Scaleway. We can create a new cluster for CI Jenkins IO on Azure if we still have remaining builds. So find other solution on sponsorships. But we check each time the agents were allocated. It's just that it took a lot of time because of the amount of builds. Is there any question or things I forgot on that topic or thing unclear for you? No questions for me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not gravely worried about it. I think, yes, when we have a spike, the spike sometimes does not fairly or is is too fair. It gives gives equal priority to bill of materials. That should be lower priority if we could make it that way. And the objection, if we define the definition of done for this issue, for the two elements, increasing agent allocation on digital ocean and splitting the workloads. Once these two are done on CI Jenkins IO, we can close the issue. Is there any objection on that definition? Sounds good to me. Cool. Terminates next issue. Terminate build stocks in queue on infra CI. That one is. I think a complicated one. Um, each time we have a full restart, usually the weekly upgrade on Infra CI, a lot of builds are stuck waiting with that terrible message that same terminating with extreme prejudice. Despite having a timeout, which seems to be triggered, still the jobs are seen as are currently running. We had to force kill the builds. Um, thanks, Stefan, for finding the fact that if you try to pause and resume the builds, it terminates properly the builds, which is a good way to avoid waiting hours and killing them. So that's the short-term corrective. Um, what we saw is that on each of these restarts, we tend to have multiple restarts of infra CI that most of them happen during the uh, Jenkins home check where all the XML persisting the state of the pipelines are being read and rewritten. Most of them are corrupt after three or four restarts that happen during the check of that port. So what we saw on the metrics uh, is that there was a lot of CPU IO and a lot of CPU used, both, both of them. So the CPU usage on Jenkins can come from numerous area, but for sure the CPU IO weight comes from the CPU waiting for IO operations. And we all know that Jenkins is really even IO operation when restarting. So the first step we took was to increase the quality of service of the underlying persistent volume. On the SAN system provided by Azure, we are able to change the, the quality of service of the SSD, which increased a lot the amount of uh, IOPS that are available. Because even if it's burstable, which means you can use for a certain time way more IOPS, we were clearly over the budget and we were rate limited by the storage system. Um, eventually, if we still have CPU I usage or memory I usage that are preventing the controller to restart only once when updated, then we might think about increasing the amount of CPU and memory. But right now we have to check if the new IOS has an impact and see if it's still using a lot of CPU when restarting. Today's weekly release, once released and apply, will show us way more metrics and we can take a decision based on that. So we hope it's not a bug on the pipeline, but we saw that uh, less and less. So let's, uh, let's see later to continue. Unless there is a question or point or something I missed. Okay. We can't access our plugin account. New issue open last week. Okay, lost password. So oh. that one is a uh, is is worrying me a mark. I might need help on this one. They know the account username, which is easy, but yeah, in the same area of the takeover, 
we might have to check the underlying email, etc. Because yeah, uh, uh, that one the, is uh, yeah. that that looks that looks very scary. I agree that. The... Uh, maybe yeah. um, if no one objects, I will just ask help or double check from the security team just in case that we don't do anything wrong because in that case it's literally a plugin so well and i do have contacts have recently established some contacts at atlassian oh not in this organization but i have contacts inside atlassian that have helped us with the um jenkins the issues.jenkins.io uh, license and so if we had to we could always ask someone that is known to be authenticated inside Atlassian to help us wow. understand, is this person that's claiming this actually part of, or is that GitHub account actually part of the Ops Genie team at Atlassian? So, oh, good, so good thing. We, uh, I propose we will switch that one, that set of validation on privates uh, just to avoid. Uh, yeah. Well, and, and be, be aware that I'm, I'm unavailable end of this week and Monday of next week. So this one probably shouldn't be in our in our plan to do this week. It's that's mm -hmm. a lot of work. There, there's there's okay. an awful lot that we have to carefully check before we say yes to. Okay. Since I, I assign myself no objection if I check what is on our LDAP database, trigger a password reset, then tell us you have received a password reset on the associated mail check internally with the other teams otherwise take contact from your email to jenkins infra whatever so we acknowledge they won't mm. have a silent uh, issue and we and then i will take over and if we need to wait two weeks i will let them know so they won't have to wait is that okay that makes that makes great sense yeah doing the reset sounds really good As your credential for third CI expired, uh, quick one, the, creden the Azure token used by the third CI private controller to spawn virtual machine to be used as agents had a token which expired. We generated a one month one, and I have to, I should have paired with Stefan earlier today, but is unavailable today. The goal is to use a workload identity. That's a topic that Hervé and Team Yacom already broke. So the idea is instead of having a token that we have to store in Jenkins, it's to use Azure capability to authenticate the workload. So no need for uh, for having a token. It uses OIDC authentication under the hood. It's the same thing as automatic IAM profile on AWS. And that avoids storing any kind of credential, which means no need to uh, to to have a credential to renew. It's automatically generated every hour for us. So that's the definition of done. I'm not sure we'll have time to do this one next week, but uh, uh, that, yeah, that should be a nice experiment. Hervé, I see upgrade to Kubernetes 1.24. Can you give us a heads up on this one? I have opened the issue and it has to be done. Uh, the end of line is uh, soon. I didn't put it in the issue. I will add it. Is it digital ocean only, which happened to be the face, the fastest one, or uh, maybe all? It's provided? the lowest one, so it's it's for every every cluster. But yeah, uh, digital ocean is following uh, the deprecation from. The official Kubernetes version. Okay. Following the the roadmap of uh, Kubernetes. Okay. When you say soon, is that this week at before first uh, of March? Uh, it's in April, I think. I don't. Uh, let me uh, let me check. I don't. Remember. I'm check. I'm checking right now on the screen. July two thousand twenty-three. Yes, uh, but uh, it's March. You have to check end of support. It's end of the month. We are uh, one that uh, twenty three. 
currently. Oh, okay. Correct. Oh, okay. So we have to update that week at all costs. Okay, so I can it, take it. Uh, I, yeah, I think I, I propose will, that we yeah. split on different provider. We need to parallelize the different provider on this one. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind you starting the change log. I can help if that's okay for you. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's a big one. We can pair on checking the, the change log and on mind. Okay, so that one must be done. Document the code signing renewal process. I, were there any documentation missing? Um, yeah. Yes. Um, is, there... is it the one we've done? Uh... We captured we captured a series yeah. of screenshots, and from those screenshots, we think we may benefit by doing an update to the document because the the documentation that does exist was three years old and the prompts are slightly different. So we followed the documentation. It helped us, but it was slightly different. Um, I've captured those screenshots, stored them on two different places so that if my hard drive dies, we don't, we don't lose them, but okay. we, we still have work to do on this one. Okay. I understand from what you said earlier that we have to wait for DG Cert to send us the new the newly requ uh, requested certificate, is that correct? Yes, and I'm a little worried that I've seen no indication from them that they've seen our request and started acting on it. So I think it may be time for, for me to poke them and understand if they've actually seen our request or if somehow the things that we did didn't quite get into their queue. Okay. May I ask... Uh you just to give ahead once you will have at least requested them on the issue just saying we did that we are waiting for that just to work in asynchronous is that okay for you yes Espe absolutely. I, i'm especially since you are going to be out of office uh, soon uh, if we have uh, if Hervé, stefan and haya to take over on that uh, area good yes will do thanks a lot mark um aks add cluster public Gates. Um, it's a migration of services which has been mm -hmm. posed for now. Uh, yeah. Still no movement. Okay. Same for all private. Uh, the next steps we have to have to update the issue with the um, CI migration plan. Mm -hmm. We've come up with Stefan, and uh, yeah, we. Uh, so um, pull request adding the the nodes on the private cluster is ready. Um, I've tested uh, the backup, and uh, yeah, we have to okay to the next steps. So if I understand correctly, we won't work on the issue public gates new cluster for the upcoming week, given the amount of work. However. Work has been started by Stefan and you and will be continued about the private yes. gates. And yes. the scope is preparing and planning carefully the migration of release CI Jenkins IO from the current production cluster to the new private cluster. And Make so on the, yeah. so on the to-do list, the plan that Stefan and you elaborated should be transplanted from our private notes to the public issue. And there is a pull request that uh, you asked me to to review and eventually merge that will prepare the foundational work on that cluster for the new release CI. Yeah. Uh, is that correct? We have to, yes, we have to delete the uh, all the time private cluster too. Yeah. I forgot about we, that. Yeah. Uh, that will be another issue. Yeah. Uh, plan error baited to be. Return in issues, prepare for new not pools to be reviewed, merge deployed. Okay. Of it's in the private okay, private cluster uh, issue. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can create a 
Okay, cleanup of TEM private, the former private cluster that is not used anymore. Now, the priority work, which is the last one, uh, ACP status. Uh, so now, if I understand correctly, not only plugins are on CI Jenkins I are using ACP, the caching proxy, but also the core builds, the BOM PCT builds. Are there other builds uh, using? Yes. Uh, one pull request uh, is ready for review to add it to the backend extension indexer, which is running every Sunday to retrieve every plugin uh, documentation. Uh, I've modified uh, the Java application to be able to use it. If you put you as reviewer, I might add uh, Mark, if you don't mind. I, I'd be happy to review it. And that's one of those tools that really needs some intelligence added to it. Right now, it is absolutely failing to retain, at least if I understand correctly, failing to retain all history, right? It doesn't get any benefit from anything. Every week, it rebuilds all sorts of things horribly. Yeah. So yeah, with a lot of error from the plugins themselves, but yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. It's it's doing an awful lot of blind and useless work that we could we could certainly improve and reduce the amount of blind and useless work that it does. Um I don't know if the ATH acceptance test or NES is also using ACP or not. It's uh, using Run Maven, so it's as I have to check, but uh, I think uh, it's using the ACP. Um, most of the repository are now using the artifact caching proxy. So one uh, which doesn't are the so one where Maven is called from Java. Okay. So I didn't make any search for that yet. No. No problem. It's just that that one is a uh, EV build. So yeah. also just checking. But um, it's an EV build because it's running tests inside Firefox Atlas. So it's, mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, I have to uh, check. Uh, adding ACP to EV builds as a, an outcome for us, which is if it helps to have faster builds, that means less machine time to pay for. Uh, okay, in terms of the data that GFrog sent to us last week, uh, were you were someone able to check if there has been an impact or not? Unfortunately, I didn't do the analysis. I'm hoping to get more data from them today mm -hmm. and then do two rounds of analysis to see how we're doing. Uh, Hervé, I think, did some, some initial sample, but I've really got to get the automation in place to make the every time we generate it how does it look are we okay we still i still have an open question with jfrog on finding some way to ban ban the uh, large the large consumer from china that mm -hmm. is as far as we can tell just useless but we'll we're continuing those discussions with them okay so that one is more on the realign parts more than the acp Discussion still in progress with Shifrog on the big consumers who detected outside ourselves. Right. Um, nothing done on the LDAP HA. I've deprioritized that. Um, or LDAP slash authentication on mirrors on GFrog. Uh, that one is on hold for now because we saw that most of the data is not due to that right now, unless they can confirm. But right now we focus the effort on ACP and the rest. So it's on hold. Right. And, and I, th I still think that makes sense the 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 authenticated access would not have blocked any of the acp usages and it would not block the current single largest user 
from China. They're both public, loca they're both locations for artifacts that we publish. So we need, we authenticating won't help because those are intentionally not authenticated. Yep, I agree. Anything else on ACP or uh, GFROG? So I'm looking at now at the new issues on LDesk, but if you have something new that you are aware of, please mention it. So we had, we had it, we had it. Uh, oh, yes, a request for Alex to access Trusted CI, Chinese website, <clears throat> and the rest are things that we already covered. So two new issues. Uh, I'm adding this one to the milestone as well. Uh, we refused that a few months ago before the previous elections. Because Alex was, even though being a trusted and valuable contributor, wasn't a Jenkins board member, elect, elected board member. And the only reason for him to access trusted is to be able to kick a new uh, Docker, Jenkins Docker container build. Thing is that even with his new status, one month ago, I would have said as Jenkins Info Officer, we don't need better to spend the effort on migrating the job to release CI where it should be done. However, given that it's been two weeks with issue on that job, with the LTS and the two pass weekly, uh, the help of Alex will be really, really wanted on that area if some of us are not available for that. So unless someone objects, I'm absolutely okay on giving that access to, uh, to Alex. No objection from me, uh, Alex. Great choice. And yes, long term, we want to get that job off trusted CI. So ultimately, his need for access will go away, as we hope will many of our needs. Is that okay for you as well, Hervé? Yes, sure. Cool. So I've added that not stream of Troy H, and that one should be quick. Uh, Mark, you opened that issue about the uh, Chinese pages. Yeah, low low priority. This one does not need to be in upcoming work. the The intent here is that we need to the the Chinese website uh, Jenkins.io/zh is has not had new translations in two or more years, and we're now getting issue reports from Chinese users when they read the instructions in Chinese how to install and they are completely outdated, right? You think about all the changes we made in two years to how you install Jenkins, the system D transition, the, the packaging updates for, to, for containers, all sorts of things. So the for me, the Chinese site is, is becoming more liability than help to native Chinese speakers. And so we do want to, we want to, stop it and but have its pages somehow redirect to the english pages uh, i don't know how to do that i also don't think this is urgent it's just one that it would be a nice service to the chinese users to stop showing them two-year outdated pages especially on the install guides makes sense so i'm adding that to infra team sync next if anyone has an idea to start working on that meaning it's backlog for us not top priority but Great. if anyone want to help us on that that will uh, benefit a lot for the chinese community i think that's all i had in mind um yeah is there something else to, which is not day-to-day -day operation or that should be new or mentioned that you want to say to tell us about Okay, so we can cut it down and see you next week, folks. See you next Thanks week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.